the upper right. Getting outdone here in that last game, but still a very accomplished player. We'll see how he does this time. He is. And in the bottom left, we have our underdog, but so far doing very well. He is. Boom, boom. Yeah, I mean, he did certainly take that first game, and he showed, uh, you know, understanding of what to do after things started to go right for him. I wonder what that is in his booth. Do you see that next to his keyboard? Yeah, it looked like uh, Nail hotel, or something? hotel shampoos. Oh, yeah, it could be. Could have been like a, I don't know. I don't think it was nail polish though. No, it couldn't be a weird thing to bring in food for people. Well, you never know, man. This is lucky nail polish. One's nail polish, one's nail you polish. You should be one to judge, you know. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You do anything he wants as far as nail Come polish in. goes. If I win this, I'm painting my thumb black. <laughs> Just a thumb. I'm an alternative guy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, both players opening hatch first, so we'll just stare at that production tab and let you know when things Yeah, we'll have a little bit of downtime here. Yeah, for sure. We've had Daybreak for how long now? Over a year and a half? This, this uh, didn't come out. Yeah, had, it's, uh, it's, getting, it's up there, man. It's getting pretty old. Uh, it may be time to remove this map in a couple seasons. I wouldn't be surprised. If this map is still around at the beginning of 2014, I'll be very surprised. It, I, it's going to have to go before then. As much as we all love Daybreak. Remember the map on uh, StarCraft 1 Python? Of course. I wouldn't mind seeing like a kind of a StarCraft 2 version of that or something. Yeah. For me, that was actually like... Yeah, I want to see more StarCraft the classic, 1 ports. Yeah, I would like to see the ports. For me, that was like kind of like one of the classic StarCraft yeah. 1 maps because like nobody... Everybody would be willing to play it on iCup. I, uh, I'd be like, oh god, I have to play another game of Python. But what was the name of that map that was like ridiculously balanced and had the most games on it and stuff at the end? Oh wait, 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 wait! It's, it's a uh, two-player map that was long and skinny. Not Shadow Run. De Shadow. Uh, it starts wait, with D. De is it a desert map? No, it's a Badlands map. It has a little bridge over the natural. Oh god, no! I know exactly. It starts in, a, in the D. weird expansion in the back with a. Oh my god, yeah. Destination. Destination. Is the name. Destination's a map. I got it. There you go, Tasis. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, trying a destination port. What's wrong with destination? I actually stuff. just want to play StarCraft One maps in StarCraft Two, to be honest. Yeah. Because somebody should make a port of destination. Is destination so actually cool. was. Huh? Bifrost. Mm, Bifrost like, is a great map too. It's so cool. It's so cool. No, they should they should do a remake of Destination. That was a great map. Yeah. I think someone already made one, but no one has really. The thing about PVT it. on that map is it always took like 40 minutes. Yeah. It, it was that always is like. True. I'd, lo I'd, I'd be like two at two a.m. and I get on a uh, game and it'd be a destination PVT. I'm like, well, I'm probably not going to go sleep for well, at least an hour. Like. One of the most interesting things about the ports that we've seen so far, by the way, they're still doing exactly the same thing. Yep, everything's um, mirrored up, synced but up. One of the most interesting things, especially with Bifrost, is they modified everything slightly to fit StarCraft II better. Yeah. Like, even though it's a low ground choke, it kind of works because of vision blockers. Right. And then also, uh, you know, it, it, they made the map bigger overall than in StarCraft One, so you can't abuse uh, that passageway as easily and stuff like that. They made uh, the ramps, I mean, the bridges in the center a little bit different so that you could actually engage properly in the different matchups. Uh, so they could do things like that to, to make it very StarCraft II playable, I feel. No, I, I what I like is actually seeing uh, maps regurgitated. Yeah. Regurgitated is not the proper word because there's somewhat of a well, negative I mean, connotation it, to that. But No, there's nothing negative about feeding baby birds. You're right. <laughs> that's actually, <laughs> that's negative that you say that's negative. The baby birds need food tasteless. How else are you, they going to get it? Gross of Papa teeth. Papa is going to chew it up for them and spit it in their mouths. Yeah, man. Regurgitation. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind seeing more maps. Just How else uh, would I feed my baby if it weren't for regurgitation? Yeah, man. You're such a good dad. I know. Chewing your baby's food for... She's going to grow up into that just fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so... I mean, these guys have everything lined up except for one thing now. Oh, wait, no. The nope. evolution chamber is <laughs> just a little bit quicker yep. on one side. So, so we're still waiting for They're both going to be going Roach Infester, most likely. Well, actually, Hyun has definitely the possibility of uh, going only Roach. We'll see. So we're waiting for the fork of the road here. We uh, got a Hyun uh, taking expansion. So yeah, uh, that Boom third. Boom's teching a little bit harder. I mean, it's barely teching, but it is. he is getting his, some of his tech tree up there. And... All right, so it's somewhat of a variation here. As you can see, um, 
Uh, the third base is now going to be acquired here by Bung Bung. Hmm. So. Well, uh, Bung Bung is making a group of speedlings, so he might be going and trying to force a cancel, perhaps, on that third base. Uh, his overlord may have seen the drone go down, and he knows that it's about time for those third base altercations coming up here. And, in fact, we have Hyun making. He just made 12 lings as well, so <clears throat> we'll see what Bung Bung can get done. <laughs> Looks like uh, the third base here for Hyun is going to be under attack. And it does not look like um, Hyun's going to turn around and try to save it. Instead, he's going to try to cancel the. Uh, yeah, the other they're third both going to get cancels on this. This game is a mirror. Whoa, goodbye, Boom oh, Boom. I choked in my water uh, when I saw that. That was. Was that shocking for you? It was shocking, man. Yeah, uh, and yeah, they both get cancels here. This isn't too uncommon. Boom Boom actually making another big group of lings, whereas uh, Hyun is switching over into roaches. And these things are actually going to scout pretty much everything that's going on. And now uh, let's see if he takes out one drone here. Yeah. Infestation pit for Hyun. Uh, quite a bit slower. But that won't necessarily uh, make a big I can't difference. believe that drone survived. Ah, uh, but it don't. It didn't. But dun, it do, don't. Dun, do, dun, not. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it looks like this is going to normalize pretty much. I mean, yeah. As long as uh, Hyun starts pathogen glands all, all right away, it's basically turning into a normal game. Well, these lings are actually going to force another cancel. He doesn't even <laughs> have time to save that. That's too bad for him. That's yeah, gonna, there's no way to stop this. Yeah, that He's, slows him way try to get a few What? Oh, it gets a kill. He didn't cancel. No, it was a kill. And uh, Boom Boom is going to pull ahead in that, that third base timing. Look at that blood. And Hyun is actually... Yun is getting pathogen glands, but still pushing across the map. We already have pathogen glands done and infestors uh, on the way for Boom Boom. Basically, he's teching guys and he's attacking, which is kind of a peculiar thing. It's oh, like, he turned around. Okay. okay, so it was a pressure. Maneuver. Yeah, he was All just right. he was posturing and stuff like that. Um, okay, because if he actually attacked with that, he's just going to lose all his roaches and be even further behind. So. Uh, yeah, this is normalizing now. Hyun is getting the macro hatch, uh, whereas Boom Boom is not yet. And the investor is just a bit quicker for Boom Boom. So uh, Boom Boom definitely does have a bit of a lead here. The same number of roaches, more investors for him. And he just has some lings. So that extra supply you see, a lot of it is in Zerglings, which aren't necessarily going to matter as much. They could, but we'll see. And in fact, they just did a nice little run around. Going after that oh third my again. god, we're going to have another cancel here. Yeah, if he can cancel that third once again and turn around with the rest of his army, that would be so magnificent. Actually, with the bane lanes, he can save it. Yeah. yeah. Good thing he had oh, that bane. Oh, that roach coming up over here. Look and hitting this. hard. Oh, he's sniping queens. And in fact, look at this. Oh, this fungal's so good. Indeed, and really, really good fungals there. And in fact, he's going to get a third. That is a ton of damage. That is so much yeah. damage. He's going to end up losing all these roaches, but he's killed a lot. He sniped some queens. Oh, he could get these investors coming down here. Hyun is oh not playing God. well right now. Two investors down, and I think a third one will go down here, too. I was doubting Boom Boom coming in today, Tasteless, but he is for certain outplaying Hyun here. Yeah, it looks like the other uh, investors actually going to escape here for uh, Boom Boom. And look, I mean, he's actually crippled him up. I think a second attack can wipe out hatchery number three here. It, it, it might. Yeah, I think you could be right on that. Right now, we do have more roaches for Boom Boom by eight. And Hyun isn't even making any roaches. So, yeah, this attack is going to kill the hatchery. And Boom Boom is just getting into a ridiculous lead. I don't think actually Hyun can recover, man. No. I actually like don't. No, losing this third is just, just too much. Boom Boom. He's even bringing investors down here. He could even lose those investors if yeah. he's not careful. And he, and he will. Oh, man. This is. I don't know what's. I mean, Hyun is out of his element. I mean, this is like. No, this, like is, this is not the Yun that we're used to, that's for certain. Parallel universe where Yun is not as good at Zerg and Boom Boom is a god. Yeah. I I don't know what else to say about that, Tasis, but that is what we're watching here. Yeah. Boom Boom has slaughtered Yun. Just slaughtered him. And the thing is, I mean, yeah, in both games, he's basically just very one-sided with Boom Boom outplaying Yun at every single turn. Um... This is GG. I mean, I don't... Yeah. This, this, Hyun not, is not still in the game technically, but... That, he's it, still in the game physically. Yeah. <laughs> GG. <laughs> All right. Well, that's surprising. 
No offense to Bugbun or any people no, fans I mean, of his. I just didn't he really. He did a good job. He played solid CBZ. There was nothing like super duper awe inspiring about it. It was just really good CBZ from it. You know, it was pretty standard Yun. overall, all his timings and everything. Gun does not look good right now. No, he's... he looks pretty distraught. I mean, he probably went into this like, like we all went into well, watching this thinking that uh, Gun was going to win. Let's see. Easy peasy. That game. The mistake that game, remember when we were like, why is he going to attack right now? This doesn't make yeah. sense. And it was kind of just like a push out of the center and come back. Lings ran around him and he lost at Hatchkin, and that's where it really went in Boom Boom's favor. Yeah. So, I mean, was there a real reason for him to move up there and think that he should be safe? Well, kind of. Like, why would Boom Boom have those extra Lings still? But it was kind shouldn't of, have done it. A lot of, a lot of misses in that game uh, for him. But he's not out yet. Um, coming up next, we're going to have a PVT. So